Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I should say today's boatless episode because we are boatless today and I am with the boatless angler. This is your element this right here. It. All dialed in. This is where Antonio thrives right here folks and in fact you got a line in already. I do. We're looking for carp today and we're hoping to get, I'm going to say get lucky because it's still really cold water. It's early and we're just going to see if maybe we can entice a bite by using corn. Now, of course, I forgot the uh, catch a carp bait pockets, but we're going to load the corn on to our hooks. Basically, take the corn, just your straight corn from the grocery store, load it onto the hook, bury your hook with corn because you don't want the carp to detect the hook. And I'm running um, the T-turn bait rig for carp. This is the 5B. So you can see it's a, basically it's just a T-turn that goes down to a sinker. And then uh, there's a, about a foot of line off to a nice solid hook for carp. Now, the other challenge we have today, right Antonio, is it's very, very shallow here, folks. Like shallow all the way out. And I want to get my line out as far as I can. So this is an eight and a half foot rod. And I'll show you how I'm going to get this line out there, away out there. Antonio's going to help me out. Slave labor. Slave labor, there you go. So a couple of things, with a long fishing rod, the longer the rod, the longer the ability to cast. Now because he has, I didn't come prepared. I came just with, with regular hikers, okay? I don't have boots to handle the water, but Antonio does. And if you see what he's gonna do, he's gonna walk out to the edge of that sandbar and he's gonna cast it away out there for me. That's how I'm gonna get my distance today, folks. If I cast from here, I'll barely get I'll barely get to the deep water. So by this way, I'm guaranteed to be in the deep water. And Antonio, he's already got his line in. He did the same thing with his line. So he's casting his more to the left and he's gonna cast mine more to the right. And we're gonna work that area. Now, speaking of Antonio already has his line in. Here, he, we're both running two rods today. And this is Antonio's second rod. But the reason I want to show you is he's gone with a different rig. So the rig I'm using, the T-turn bait rig with the sinker on it, can be used as a bolt rig, which means when the carp pick up the bait, they sense the sinker, they bolt off, but they keep the bait. So it's a great way to have an exciting bite and set the hook. The other option is a little more finesse. And as you can see here, what Antonio did is he's got a Thunder Mist sinker slide on here. Okay, you can see it there, the camo one. It's got a nice large sinker snap, and, uh, and he tied on a swivel as a stop. And then he's got about a foot and a half of line to his hook, completely loaded with corn. And the way this works, folks, is the carp can pick up his bait, and they could run with it, and the line is just gonna slide through that sinker slide, and the carp will not detect the hook. So unlike my system, his is completely different. His is more finesse. There you go, Antonio. Swap Thank you rods. for getting that line out. In fact, why don't you, I got a second rod. If you want to get my second line out for me. I'm going to cast mine first. Okay, get your line out and then you can come back and I'll give you my second rod, which I have set up right here. Now I also want to show you folks where we're fishing. I mean, for the boatless angler, I'm going to put my line here. I want to show you where I'm putting my, my, my reel down. So this area is basically sand and shells. And I'm gonna put my reel, I'm just gonna put it down on this uh, piece of foam here that I brought with me because sand grit is the number one enemy for the boatless angler. You have to keep your reels out of that because if that sand gets in there, the brie gets in there, your reels will be shot. So just protect your reels, have something to, uh, to protect them and you'll be good to go. Antonio's casting his second line. I got my second line here, which as you can see is the exact same rig. I picked up a little debris here, but exact same rig. And the T-turn for those carp, if they wanna swing around and flop around in the water, they can do whatever they want. That T-turn is going to basically help avoid any line twist and tangles. So I got a little debris on my, a little bit of sand there on my line, but that's okay, there we go. So. 
that's going to be the technique. Antonio just cast his, his line out, so he walked the way out there. And I'm going to say hopefully, folks, hopefully we could trigger a bite. We shall see what the day brings. But regardless, it's an absolute beautiful, gorgeous day today. Great day to be outdoors. Catching fish, always a bonus, but stay tuned, folks. I'm on. Antonio, the boldest angler has struck. Let me come with the net and the mat. Doesn't feel that big. No? No. You think you might have a catfish, or is it a carp? Huh. Good call. Um, if it's a catfish, it's a big bullhead. Well, don't forget the water's colder, right? True. I keep forgetting. So, they could be a little bit sluggish. A catfish isn't going to bend your rod like that, I don't think. No, it's not a catfish. No, no. That's a definite carp. Nice. Give you a good bite. He did. I was wondering if they were going to be aggressive or not. Yeah, it's a nice fish. It's going to be really shallow here for me to try to land them with this net with these no boots. <laughs> Always challenges, I guess. So hopefully we can work it out. Yeah, it's definitely a sluggish fish. It is, eh? Right now. Yeah, you got a you got a you got a nice carp, I tell you. You got a nice carp. For sure you do. No, I left my lines in you because you, you were out way off to the side, right? I'm trying to keep it in between. Otherwise I could take my lines out real quick. Oh, he's coming in. Can you see him? Oh there he is. Is it a catfish or is it a carp? It looks like a carp. Small carp. Small, right? Yep. Just a little guy. I guess we just saw the net. He does not like the net. At all. He does not like the net. A little more Antonio I could reach. There we go. I got him. He's in the bag. Nice. Hey, that's a nice little start. Actually, we we're lucky to get that bite. Good fish. That's a nice little carp, folks, right there. Oh, healthy. Very, very nice. Yeah, I, I got the map, the but maybe we don't need it. You could probably manhandle them right there. Oh, yeah. Wow, good hook set. Yeah, nice. Got it. There you go. Oh, your sliding sinker rig worked. Nice carp. Very healthy. Very, very healthy. Here, I'll snap a quick photo for you. Hey, you ready? Sure. And gotcha. Nice little start there. Beautiful. Oh. Wow, and he's gone like a bullet. The water wow. is cold. Cold water, but you managed to get him with that sliding sinker rig. And we got ourselves our carp, folks. We were hoping to at least get a bite. And it took a little while, but we got our bite. Hey? Yeah. We'll, st we'll stay another little while longer, see if we can get lucky and get one more. Sounds good to me. Well, Antonio's baiting up. I th I got a hit, but I it feels more like a catfish than it does a carp. Unless it's another small carp like you had, Antonio. It might be. I, I, I don't know. The bite, though, folks, was very, very subtle with this cold water. Very, very subtle bite. I mean, with this beautiful day today, this warm, warm weather, you'd think, but it, it's not. It's, we've got a cold front coming in next week, but temperatures are going to be back to normal again. But right now, for middle of April, this is phenomenal. But I, I don't know. You need the net? I, I don't know. Let's see what happens when he, he gets a little closer. My line's away out there. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> it might, I don't know. It's... Like I say, the bite was really, really subtle. Really subtle. I see some bubbles out there. He's coming in. I don't know if it's a carp. Oh, it's a catfish. It might be a catfish, okay? Did you see him? Yep. Did you see him in that clear water? Bullhead. Bullhead, okay. 
All right. And he's twisting and turning around there. And okay. Well, at least it's a bite, folks. At least it's a bite. Actually, that's a nice bullhead. Right there. That is a nice bullhead. Hey. Okay? I'd say so. I mean, that's a good eater. If you like to eat catfish, the meat is a little bit softer overall. But uh, I got a great recipe actually cooking them on the grill. I'll put a link in the description for you if you want to check it out. But that's a dandy. Nice little nice bullhead. All right, we're going to get him released. And away he goes. So, I got to show you the hook. That's a really, really nice carp hook right there. Octopus style. These also come in uh, circle style hooks as well. But I went with the octopus today. So Antonio's casting his line out. I'm going to have to rebate and get mine cast right out there again and see if we get lucky to get another carp or not. Another carp? Definitely. Yeah? Yeah. No catfish for you, eh? This one's slightly bigger. Really? Not by a lot. But boatless angler, folks, has struck again. You want to move up a little bit or are you going to stay back there on the shoreline? I was shore thinking line? of going on the opposite side of your rods. Oh, really? Uh, uh, maybe I can make it. You want me to pull in? No, no. Cold, sluggish water. The cold is making them sluggish, so that helps. Hey, that's a second carp bite, so considering we were thinking we weren't going to get any, that's pretty good. True. Actually, when you get them closer, there's a nice little divot right over here. Maybe we can get them in there and land them a bit easier. Ah, uh, he's way out there. Well, you walked out there and then you cast out there, so... <laughs> oh, 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 my line's going! Pretty good, I get to fight your fish. Enjoy it. <laughs> That's one way to catch fish. So he did cross my line. Uh oh, we're gonna have a mess now. I should have just brought in Antonio. I should have brought it over. I knew I had a chance that. Wow, he's a way out there. Yeah. I think my line might have come off. Yeah, I did. It came off. I think so, or am I over you? You're over me. Okay. Not as bad as we originally thought. Just my hook is on the line, that's all. I'm not even wrapped around. Uh, the joys of boatless angling, folks. That was exciting for me, though. But I don't have any corn on my hook. I might have been getting bites. Prior. Wow, a lot stronger than the other one. You got a bigger fish. You got what we came hoping to get. I don't think it's huge though. I still got my other line in here. Should be all right. Yeah, he's over here by my other line. loosen the drag on my rod because if I happen to get one that picks up and bolts away, I don't want to lose my rod. Wow, this guy's all over the place. You got a, you got a good carp, Antonio. This is going to be a good fish. I think so? Yeah. I think he's just... Oh, yeah. How heavy is your, uh, your main line there? Main line is 20. 20 pound. So is my leader. 20 and 20. Yeah, I think he went underneath your line there, so... Oh, I should have just taken my line out, I'm telling you. you good? Yeah. You just don't want to recast my line, eh? He's that part of it, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's going all over. Yeah, ever. Oh, yeah, I see him. See that, him? That's, I just caught a glimpse that's of him. Good. Yeah. Yeah. He's a decent carp. Yeah, he's not huge, but he's decent. Here, bring him over here, Antonio. You see the divot right here? That's it, right in here. There's a little, right here, there's like a little V. Where it's a little deeper. 
See how deep it is there? It's a little bit bigger. No, but it's a nice carp. It's bigger for sure. Definitely. Okay, a little closer. And yeah, he saw the net. There we go, he's in the bag. It's a little bit, just a little bit bigger, Antonio, than that last one. Nice fish. Want me to hold your fishing rod? Sure. Oh yeah, he's, That's he's decent. bigger. That's decent. Good hook set. All right. It's in caught in the net. Wrapped around a bit. The hook's now caught in the net. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, but he's is he loose? He's not loose. Oh, the line's right through his mouth? Yep. Oh, you gotta love that. There you go. Fish it through, Antonio. Fish it through. There it is. You gotta be a surgeon sometimes. Well, it happens, right? The line goes through. There you go. Let's take a look. Oh, 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 oh. Another nice fish. I'd say he's a couple pounds bigger. Yeah. Not much, though. And we're gonna grab another quick photo for you. And. Got it. Nice. That's a nice part. Now, maybe the bigger ones just haven't moved in yet because it's early. I don't know. It's possible. But I'm surprised we got, I mean, I got that catfish bite, but two carp bites. Pretty good. That's pretty good, pretty good. for this cold, cold water, right? Yeah. Okay, so now what you got to do is relaunch yours, and then I'm going to give you mine, and you can relaunch mine. Okay. Deal? Deal. <laughs> Guess what, folks? Look where Antonio is. He's out there. He's getting ready to cast out again, and look what I got. But it's on Antonio's fishing rod. As he started walking out there, his line just took off and went. So I went and grabbed it and set the hook. So <laughs> my line is still not launched yet. Oh my goodness. He must have a hot spot out there where he's at. Oh, and now I'm wrapped around Antonio. I got a real big one now. What's going on? It wrapped around me. I got you wrapped a... You got a fish? Yeah, I got a fish. On your line. He wrapped around your legs. I see. I felt that. While you were going out there to cast, keep an eye on my other fishing rod. This rod just took off. Wow. Is it bigger? Yeah. The carp are getting bigger, folks, as the day goes on. Talk about exciting fishing. Considering we were thinking we weren't even going to get any bites today. You could probably land them right there. The water's so shallow. He's coming. I'm walking a fish in. You're walking him in. Coming in. He's barely hooked. Is he? Yeah. It's just a small carp too, so maybe the big ones just have not moved in yet. This one's a bit bigger. Is it bigger? So yeah. they're getting bigger as the day goes on here. I guess I'll have you land them. Alright. Use my hands, I guess. Oh yeah, that's a nicer fish. Uh, chunkier. That's a nicer fish. Here, let me take another photo of you. Look at that. Nice fish. A little bigger. Yeah. If you step a couple steps closer, I can get a little closer up. That's it right there. Beautiful, nice fish. Well, that worked out. It's a good thing I saw your rod. As you were walking out there, your line just started to just started to go. Really, eh? Yeah, it just your line was just going. Your rod was just bent right over. Oh, really nice fish. That's a beautiful carp. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna make it out. Oh, shallow. He'll make it out. He'll make it out. There he goes. And you know what? See that plastic there on Tony? Why don't you grab that plastic? Let's put that plastic on. The debris from the winter. We'll bring debris from the winter. We will clean that up. Oh, is it stuck in there? Buried. Really? I got it. There you go. 
We'll get that under the water and we will dispose of that properly. Very nice. It was just a matter of time, folks. My rig has struck. Antonio's going out to cast his line out again. And my rod took off. And this time, it's not hooked up with Antonio's fish. Antonio, I'm on. Yeah? Yeah. Right at you. It was a nice bite. So I think what's happening here, folks, even though we're in April, this heat wave, this one week that we've had of really, really warm temperatures is starting to turn these carp on. And I think as the day goes on here, and the sun goes up and the water gets even warmer and it's nice and calm today, the bite's actually picking up. So this is definitely no catfish. And of course my line is a way out there, thanks to Antonio, his casting abilities there. This feels like, feels like a pretty good fish. I'll tell you though folks, any fish today is a bonus. When you, when you come out just to enjoy the day, and maybe catch a fish and then start getting into them. Boy, oh boy, that's, I'll tell you what, that's a riot. Okay, now I still have my other line in the water there. You can fish with multiple rods for carp only in Ontario, you can, uh, from shore. Uh, as long as you're using a plant-based material, you could use more than one rod. You could use actually up to three uh, if you want. But you cannot put a worm on there and fish for carp with multiple rods. That, that is not legal. Not in Ontario, anyhow. So wherever you're tuning in from, check your local regulations and see if you're allowed to fish with more rods or not from shore. I know out in the lake, in the boat, it's not a problem to fish with two rods, downrigging for walleye or whatever. But from shore, different rules. Antonio, he went right under your line. I see that, I'm trying to get this one out of the way. You good? Uh, no? Yeah? yeah? Yeah, you're good. Okay, that's the problem with multiple lines out. It feels like a good one. I don't, I, but probably about the same size as the ones you've been getting. Five, six pounders? Yeah, I think so. You got the net? But you talk about a bolt rig, folks. He just, he picked it up and ran. Bolted away like... I just grabbed my rod quick. He's under my other line, I think, Antonio. You see there's a little divot here? I'm gonna to try to bring him right in front of you. There's like a, right there, yeah. See where you are? There's yeah, there's a, nice a deeper little, trench. Yeah, it's like a little, little trench, a little V trench there. That's a nice carp. Chunky one. Yes, that's bigger. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, Not much. No. But I was just saying, well, to the folks back home, as the day is going on here, the bite seems to be picking up. Must be the warmer weather. Exactly, that's what I mentioned. The warmer weather is turning this bite on, I think. So, okay, here, you know what? Let me grab a, a photo of them. Yeah, if you don't mind. I uh, just want to watch my fishing rod. Here you go. Grab a quick photo if I can. I got my landing mat there, but I guess we don't really need it. Uh, let's get this carp a little bit bigger, thicker. Ah, uh, stuck on one of his fins. The net. Uh, they got like serrated fins, eh? I'll get it out. Yeah, you gotta be careful. There we go. No, there we go. All right, let's try that again. Here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> there we go. How's that? Nice. Gotcha. Thanks, Antonio. Well, you know what, folks? That's another nice, what I'm gonna say, bonus, bonus carp on this bonus week of nice, warm weather. We wanted to come out here and enjoy the day and enjoy the sunshine and 
if we got lucky, maybe catch a fish or two. But you know what, folks? The fishing is actually only getting better. And it's probably only about, I'm going to say based on my stomach, close to noon. So we still have the whole day ahead of us yet to enjoy this phenomenal, phenomenal weather before it turns colder again next week and the rain moves in. So we are going to, look at Antonio set up there, folks. He's got the boatless angler set up. He's got the lawn chair. He's got his poor man rod holder set up there. He's all rigged and ready. He's all set for a long day. We're just going to enjoy it. We packed the lunch. We're going to keep fishing. The fishing is getting better. And uh, we're just going to have ourselves a great day out here. And wherever you're tuning in from, folks, I hope you're having a great day too. And, and thanks for joining Antonio and I on this boatless episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. What a day.